Say hello. Say hello. Say hello to the camera. Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and what we've got today is this Bosch Ultimate Falafel Mix. I'm going to try giving this a go. Looks like it should be interesting to eat. It's probably in the uh, vegetarian sort of, uh, or vegan friendly. It might be in the vegan section of stuff I do. I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, but trying different foods is always interesting. This one looks interesting. I'm a fan of falafel. I do like it. Uh, falafel balls in a wrap is a really interesting thing to have. They appear to have put this one on a pizza. Falafel pizza. I'm going to have falafel balls left over, so I might do that. What I'm going to have these with is I'm going to put them in a wrap with some spicy sauce. I have neglected to buy any salad. So, um, yeah, it's just going to be falafel. <laughs> anyway, let's get on and record this. So, for a closer look at what we're doing, let's have a good look at the box. Now, how to do it, the instructions. You will need 120 milliliters of freshly boiled water. Empty the falafel, let's read this. Empty the falafel mix into a mixing bowl. Add the water and mix well with a metal spoon. Cover the bowl with a reusable cover and leave the falafel mixture in the fridge for 20 minutes. While the falafel is ch chilling, preheat the oven to 180 degrees centigrade or 160 for a fan oven. Using lightly floured hands, shape the balls into walnut sized uh, things. Place in a non stick tray in the oven and bake for 25 minutes, turning the falafel halfway so I can get the little things and turn them halfway. Yeah, the um, tongs. Uh, alternatively, I'm not doing the alternative, I'm not frying them. Let's try and be healthy, shall we? Mm. Oh, you can try. Oh, you can actually coat them in panko breadcrumbs if you wanted to. Hmm, that's an interesting idea. I actually have some panko breadcrumbs in something else, which I could do, but let's save that for another time. First off, let's try and do them as per the instructions. So, moving on. Let me get a bowl quickly and everything else that I need. Now, Sorry, that made a terrible noise. There's the bowl we're going with. And I need to put the kettle on. Freshly boiled water. Note to self, probably edit out the kettle boiling, which I'll do by stopping the video. There we go. Right, preparation complete. Let's open this box up and see what we've got inside. Very interesting packaging. <clears throat> All this vegan, planet-friendly shit, and then it's in a plastic bag. Honestly, it, it amazes me these people don't know how to use paper. Vegan falafel mix. Pretty sure these guys are buying this from a factory and then putting an expensive box around it. I cannot open this packet. It is extremely tricky to open. You did the scissors. Honestly, it, with this plastic is extremely tough. No idea why. Right, 180 milliliters. Freshly boiled water. Perfect. I can see the 200 sign and I'm just a little, actually, it's a tiny bit too much. A little bit less. There we go. Yeah, that's about 180. Boiling water straight in. Let's bring this up to the camera so you can see what I'm doing. And then, they wanted me to boil this. Was it baking soda or something in it? It's all fluffed up and gone all kind of weird. Then they want me to put it in the fridge for 20 minutes after covering it. I'm not really sure using boiling water, putting it in the fridge is going to do very much. I might as well just leave it out with the top off. Cover the bowl with a reusable cover. That's just 
just cover the bowl, right? With a reusable cover. I have no idea what they're going for there. Probably some sort of, um, how would you say, uh, eco-friendly thing. Oh, look, but we say on our packaging to use a reusable cover. Therefore, we love the earth. And you used a plastic bag. See, it looks very friendly and very green, the loose of yellow or green on the outside of the packaging. But, uh, yes, they now want me to put this in my fridge. It's because of the heat of the glass in the bowl, it's probably down to about 50, 60 degrees centigrade, maybe 40, 50. In the fridge it goes for 20 minutes. And have a look at that when it comes out. Okay, we're back. Sorry, I just put some flour on my hands and a load of flour dipped in there, but that doesn't really matter. It's just going to make it easier for me to pick these up. Walnut sized balls, 12 of them. Alexa, cancel timer. And I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to... I'm going to make a pile of flour here and keep putting my hands in it because this stuff is a lot more soggy than advertised. I don't mind if we're supposed to be rolling these into 12 balls, but uh, it's just so much messier than they say. So they say to use lightly powdered hands, but to be honest, that isn't going to make much of a difference here. No matter how much, <laughs> no matter how much I put on my hands, this isn't working. The way that they suggest. I think maybe you need to reduce the water by maybe 20%. Uh, so now that's absolutely unused. Oh, I've got to clean my hands. Absolutely un undoable. There's like almost half of the apple has just gone down the sink. Oh. Right. I hate it when I do everything right, and no matter what I do, it's not going to work because their instructions are just awful. My hands are covered in the flour. It's impossible to shape them. When my hands are floured, there we go, let's shape that one better. This falafel is too wet. I'm going to add some flour to the falafel and mix that in because that should reduce the sloppiness of it because it's way too sloppy at the bottom of this bowl. How you could work with this stuff. Just going to do a few big ones. I'm not gonna... There, look, my hand is unable to pick it up again because... Oh. Unbelievably awful. I've washed probably one whole ball away. The flour on my hands again. Just reshape a couple of these. You don't need lightly floured hands and you need to add flour to the falafel mix to get it to work the way they say. And even then it's too soft and the falafels aren't able to hold themselves up under their own weight. So you can see that they turn into pancakes. Now look, immediately it absorbs all the all of the flour on my fingers and just becomes a mess. I don't want falafel inside my flour bag. They're sticking to the paper because they're so wet. This is an absolute disaster. And it's not one of my making. I don't use this mix. Buy a different one. This one's instructions are just, uh, they must have reduced the amount of mix uh, in their ingredient to the point where the, in, the instructions are so far out that it doesn't even make 12 walnut sized balls. 
and the water is just overpowering. And I know I've washed about probably one ball's worth away, but we're still, we've got seven here. You know what I mean? Sorry, not seven, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, we're three short, it's just ridiculous. Those instructions are awful, but uh, how long do we cook them for then? These soggy balls. We would not have 12 of the correct size. Uh, just a disaster, absolute disaster. Absolutely awful. That's a 120 gram pack. Who on earth thought it'd be a good idea to put a hundred and... 120 milliliters of... Oh, I'm sorry the error's mine. 120 milliliters of water. I put 60 milliliters too much in. Okay, so this entire disaster is my fault. Oh well. So now what I'm going to have to do is probably cook them longer to get the water out. Well, this is bad food vlog after all. What I should also do is get rid of all that excess flour. Guess I can roll these in it a little bit. Wow, this is totally my fault, not theirs, but it would never have made 12 balls. Ugh. Damn it, I can't believe I didn't see that. I thought it was 180 milliliters, not 120. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, I can actually read despite the evidence you've just seen. Everything has gone wrong today. I was supposed to go and visit a friend as well. I'm up late at night cooking food. Uh, let's just get this in the oven. Okay, let's see how they've done. They've been in the oven for the requisite amount of time. Oh. They're still pretty powdery. A lot of steam came out of the oven. Oh, they look pretty good. Yeah. They actually, uh, you should never touch anything that comes out of the oven like this. Uh, there's no oil on them at all. Well, I hope they're not too dry. I have put too much water in them and done so many bad things to these. So, if you're thinking they look extremely dry, that's probably my fault, but to be honest, it's a hard food to cook without doing it the obvious way and deep frying it, right? This is one of those foods. So, let's try a, a couple with some tortillas. And I'll just get the tortilla soft in the microwave. I microwave them for 10 or 15 seconds, I'd normally sort them out. Let's try one of these as uh, natural and see how they taste like. Not bad. Not great, but Pretty salty, actually. Yeah. What are we looking at for a salt content? 2%. Pretty high. Predictable. Right. 30 seconds, three wraps, equivalent to 10 seconds each. Mix them around a bit so they don't stick together too much. We're good. Let's put three of them in there. Let's put some chipotle sauce on them. And let's see what it tastes like. Kind of crush it a little bit. I'm expecting something good. Mmm. <laughs> Not bad. With some salad, be nice, still a bit salty. Quite really salty, actually. Ooh. 
Yeah. Really salty. I'm not sure if that's pairing it with the chipotle sauce or not, but just extremely salty. I don't know. I don't think I'll buy this again. Well, your mileage may vary, but I don't like this very much. I need to cook myself something else and put this in the bin. If you think what I do here isn't an absolute disaster, please subscribe. Wow, that is salty.